Hi and welcome to video number eight. In this video is the fun video. You get to learn how to upload files to the FileZilla FTP manager. Now obviously in this case we're now in the FTP account. We're inside of the public underscore HTML folder on the server and we're ready to rock and roll. So now what I want to say first is you'll see this box, you'll see this box, and you'll see this box. Now let me explain to you what are these boxes. You can ignore this box. Doesn't really directly, all that means is just you're connected. This box here is the PC. So it's your computer, whether it's your Macintosh, whether it's your Windows or Linux computer. So this is your computer, that box. This here is, the this huge box here is your FTP account or your website. So think PC going to here. It's always the PC over here and here. This right here at the top, you'll notice that the FTP account or server is split up into two boxes. The top box is basically allows you to navigate through the site. So I can navigate, let's say I want to go here, you know, I want to go here and here. It makes me makes my life easier to connect to these spots. So what I want to do is be in here. And you can navigate through here. If you see the dot dot here, that basically means that I can navigate through out the whole site or throughout my whole PC. But let's say, for example, that I'm starting from scratch. I'm in the C drive. And basically, you need to know where your files are located. So in this case, if I want to sort it by alphabetical order, I can click this bar here. And the files are located under the 2011 marketing. And I need to pick my PLV and then pick the file. Let's see here. This is the FTP warm up and I need to go here, here and here. Let's say for example that I want to upload these files. This is like the sales letter of the FTP warm up video product. So if I upload this, which is the images, and then the file here, the web page file, all you have to do is highlight it. You know, highlight it like this, like take your mouse and then click on the left control and highlight it. That's one way to do it. If you only want to select certain files, let's say you have a lot of files like this, and you only want to select a few, you can click and then hold down control on your keypad. If you have a Macintosh, obviously you'll probably need to do something else, but I can't tell you that because I don't have a Macintosh. But just pick your files, drag it, hold it down, drag it, and then drop it in this area. Now, as you can see, it tells us that it's got 11 files uploading. And as these files are uploading, uh, one thing I like about FileZilla is if you right click on these, you can rank by order. You can set the priority for specific files. So certain files will have specific priority. Like let's say certain files I'd rather upload first. You can put it at the highest, the lowest. And also action after queue completion. Basically, what do you want FileZilla to do after it completes? You can ask it to disconnect from the server. You can ask, you know, ask it to reboot the system, shut down the system, and so forth. Uh, sometimes I like to do shut down system if it's late night and I have to upload files after midnight and I'm sleeping. And that's a nifty feature there. So. Let's look at this and now let's go back to the live site because assuming that I've uploaded files correctly, then it should show up when I refresh the page. And that's it for now. In video number nine, I'm going to show you a little more detail as to how do you delete, how do you copy, how do you move files around, how do you create folders and this and that and the other.